we want to assure you in the executive and even in those of us who sit in the Council of Governors that we shall endeavor to do our best to serve that one person, Wanjiko. The key highlights uh, is that one, the Honorable Speaker will designate a place in the chamber or at the bar of the House for a Cabinet Secretary to reply to questions and provide reports concerning matters under his or her control in government on matters that relate to national government revenues and expenditure and oversight of national government state organs, then we do expect that uh, the cabinet secretaries will be expected to appear before the National Assembly. And on matters that relate to counties, in line with the Constitution and in line with what uh, I started with, in line with uh, the provisions of Article 93.2, that cabinet secretaries will appear before the National Assembly on matters relating to national government issues and state organs, and on matters relating to county governments, they will appear before the Senate. We also review the conduct in office of the president, the deputy president, and other state officers, and initiate the process of removing them from office. And uh, those state officers are all seated here, Your Excellency. And as I mentioned to you uh, this morning, you did appoint, you nominated, we approved the appointment of both cabinet secretaries and principal secretaries, and you have the powers to hire and fire. But only one other institution has the power to fire, but has no powers to hire. That is the National Assembly. And therefore, <laughs> we can initiate that process to remove from office those who do not serve the interest, as you said yesterday, Your Excellency, and I want to assure you that we will support you in ensuring that all members of government in the executive serve the interests of the public, not their own selfish and personal interests. And any that we will do, uh, anything that we will uh, indicate that they are serving other interests other than the interests of the people of Kenya, uh, we shall not hesitate, Your Excellency. As you said in your interview this week, that you have directed investigative agencies not to refer to you should they find any member of your government on the wrong side of the law, we do not expect myself and my brother Aaron that uh, you shall also be calling any of us should there be need to act.